not just a sweet fruit. Grapes are also the beginning of a magical journey of transformation into sparkling, aromatic drops of wine. From the vineyard stretching under the sun, where each vine is meticulously cared for according to time, weather, and soil. From planting, harvesting, to pressing, each stage is an art, both technical and emotional. So, what makes wine have such a seductive flavor? Let's explore the elaborate journey from vine to drop of wine. Every wine journey begins with a single vine, planted in a region with the right climate, elevation, and soil type, what winemakers call terroir. Before planting, farmers must carefully prepare the soil, checking pH, ideally between 5.5 and 7.0, and drainage, and selecting grape varieties that are suited to both the natural conditions and the winemaking goals. Once grapes are planted, they need plenty of sun, gentle breezes, and just the right amount of water. For months, growers closely monitor each vine, pruning, training, preventing pests, and controlling the yield of each bunch. This is not just farming, but an art that requires patience and a love of the land. In the winemaking process, Grapes can be harvested by hand or by machine, depending on the terrain and desired quality. Hand harvesting allows for careful selection of each bunch of grapes, avoiding spoiled fruit, less crushing and preserving the natural layer of powder on the skin. Meanwhile, machine harvesting is faster, saves labor and is suitable for large-scale vineyards with flat terrain. However, this method can easily cause the grapes to be crushed and mixed with leaves and branches, requiring careful screening before pressing. The grapes are quickly transported to the winery to preserve their freshness and original flavor. Here the grapes are gently crushed to separate the juice and skins, starting the fermentation process, where natural or added yeasts convert the sugars in the grapes into alcohol. It is from these seemingly simple first steps that a miraculous journey of transformation begins leading to the birth of classy drops of wine, preserving the flavor of the land and the efforts of the grape growers. Before being crushed, the bunches of grapes are washed in cool water to remove dirt and impurities from the skins. The grapes are then transferred to a high-powered crusher where they are gently pressed to separate the skins, stems, and release the grape juice. This mixture quickly flows through a system of pipes, directly into large tanks, to begin the aging and fermentation process. However, in some traditional wine-growing regions, people still retain the method of crushing grapes by foot as a symbolic ritual. In large wooden tubs, under the afternoon sunlight and cheerful laughter, 
People's feet gently step on each grape, feeling the aroma and softness of the ripe fruit. It is not only a way to separate grape juice, but it is also a dance of harmony between people, the earth and the origin of wine. When fine wine is poured into bottles, each glass bottle must undergo a thorough sterilization process. Using hot steam, ozone water, or a special solution that is safe for food. This is the last but no less important step because each bottle of wine not only contains wine but is also the result of a meticulous and elaborate process. <laughs> 